Hey girls, so today's video is going to be something kind of like dramatic with a hairstyle, a bun hairstyle. I've already did this prior to the video, so if you're interested in this particular bun style, you can go ahead and thumb this video up and leave your comments below. It's something really simple. But the products I'm going to be using today are both high-end and inexpensive products just to mix it up. So one of the things that I've found that I've really been liking a lot is the Skin That Nivea. Um, Primer and finishing spray. This stuff really works well as a primer for your face, so you don't really have to use too much products. I just like to use this. I don't even moisturize because I'm kind of like I have oily skin, so when I moisturize, it kind of like makes my foundation kind of slip or slip off or sleek off throughout the day, a couple of hours, and it looks like it's kind of patchy. So I just go ahead and wash my face and tone it, and then I spray this all over my entire face, and then I just go ahead and apply my makeup with this you want to spray it in like a T pattern as well as an X pattern and kind of like pat it into your skin you don't have to rub it in just pat it in and just let it air dry the product will actually absorb into your skin thoroughly really really fast so yes this is a really great product and also I do like to use the skin de Nivea finishing spray which does hold my makeup on throughout the entire day um, with this weather out here in Arizona, it's very hot. And like I said, I have oily skin and sometimes I do perspire. So this has been working really well for me, especially if I don't use a moisturizer, then it just looks like I've just done my makeup and it could have been like eight hours prior to that. So the same thing goes with this. You do need to spray it in like a T pattern as well as an X pattern and just let it air dry. Don't pat it into your face because you know, you've already done your makeup. So just let it air dry and it takes probably like a minute if that depending on how much you spray one of my other favorite products that you see me use in like all of my videos is my real technique sponge so yeah it is a little dirty right now because I just finished doing a video but this product this this actual sponge is like amazing to me I purchased this from Ulta but you can also get it from Walmart super duper affordable so with that being said I do have two of the real techniques brushes this one I've had for quite some time which is their concealer brush It's the um, 102 which is from their bold metals collection and I absolutely love it but the one that I'm using today which I'm raving about is actually this one here which is the 203 and this is also from the bold metals collection and this is your tapered shadow brush with this brush you can do like everything like you don't really need a lot of brushes with this particular one I'll use it to um, go into my crease I'll use it to smoke out my eyes it's really like a really easy universal brush for basically everything so this one here will be featured in this video as well as a lot of my other videos and the last product which is their body mind um, palette and this one here, I'm going to say I really do like this one. It comes with a mirror and it also has tabs of what the bronzers do or what different looks you can do. But more importantly, this one here, this glow veil at the bottom, this gave me the perfect highlight for strobing. So I've been looking for a highlight that is like this light and will give me this perfect shimmer and highlight and glow. And some products I found it in, but then later on in the day, it's like, mm. But this one here actually stays on the entire day. I really do like this one a lot. I haven't used too many of the other products except for the bronzer veil, which I've used off camera. But for the Bonnie Mai collection, this is a really great palette. This is an exclusive and it is a breast cancer palette. So a portion of the funds will go to breast cancer, which is amazing. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for this video as well as I'll post all the information for the products that I'm using in this one here. And like I said, if you want a tutorial on how I achieve this super easy bun, then just thumbs this video up and leave your comment below and We'll get back to that. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Hey ladies, so let's jump right into this. I'm going to be using my Skin De Nivea. And I hope that's how you say it, the makeup primer spray. I've been using this for like a week or so, probably like two weeks. I like a week or so and I love it. I don't use moisturizer with this because my skin is super oily. So I'm just going to have to spray it in and pat it and allow it to dry. And then once that has dried, I'm going to go ahead and apply my LA Girls Pro Concealer in the color yellow to brighten up 
underneath my eyes. I really do actually like this concealer. At first I didn't, um, but I really do. It's really blendable and you can also build it if you choose to. So I'm just going to take my Sedona Lace Brush and I'll post the information for their website below. They have really great um, brushes, especially dupes for like MAC, um, Bobbi Brown, just really high end brushes. They are great dupes and they last a long, long time. So I went ahead and brushed that in and now I'm going to be using one of my favorite foundations which is by Too Faced and this is their Born This Way foundation. I am in the color Honey and to blend that in one of my favorite beauty blender sponges is by Real Techniques which gives the best flawless application. This is the only beauty blender sponge I use. This is the one that I have stayed and stuck with for the longest. I've used many others and this is the only one that I will use. It's amazingly soft when you first get it so it doesn't get all hard like most of them do when they get dry. So yeah. Into my Tarte Tartalini in Bloom palette I'm going to use the color Jet Setter and this Real Techniques um, brush, the tapered shadow brush and this is the number 203. I love this brush oh my gosh you can do like so many different looks with this brush you don't need a lot of brushes with this this is the best brush out there um real techniques does have some really great brushes so if you are in need of some new brushes i would highly suggest giving them a try you can get them at ulta and i'm not really sure about the other places i know walmart does carry them but i'm not really sure about the bold metal collection now back into the Tarte, the Tarte palette, this one is just the Tarte Lady, and this color is Free Spirit. I'm going to use that color, which is like a matte off-white eggshell color to highlight underneath my brow area. I do like these palettes a lot, and I'm going to be packing on with my 224 by MAC. And I'm going to also go back into the Tarte Lady in Bloom palette, which is the first one. And I'm going to be using that color Rebel with my Real Techniques 203 brush. Like I said, you can use this brush for anything, and I'm just going to go in windshield wiper motions back and forth and take the excess product and rub that or blend that into my brow bone just to kind of like fade it and transition it in. And on to the next eye, I'm using the same color, same brush, and doing the same technique back and forth windshield wiper motions. Now into that same palette, which is the In Bloom palette. I'm just going to go into my crease with that and blend it in. And now back into the first palette, which is Tarte Lady. I'm using the color Force of Nature. And I want the color to more or less match my skin tone. So that is the reason why you see me with the shade is more or less close to my skin complexion. And I'm just using that same 224 MAC brush to pack that on. And back into the Bloom palette, I'm using Flower Child which is a lighter color and I'm just putting this kind of like over top of the first color but not over the entire lid kind of less more or less like the entire inner portion of my lid and on top kind of like almost in my crease because I want to brighten up the eyelid I'm not sure why I did this but you know it is what it is now one of my favorite marker eyeliners is by Wet n Wild and this is their Graphic Pro Eyeliner Pencil Eyeliner Marker. I like this one because the tip of the actual marker felt pen is angled so it gives the best angled um, or winged eyeliner. And like I told you girls before, I am not the best at doing eyeliner. And it's a lot, it has a lot to do with, I have hooded lids so it, it kind of makes it difficult for me sometimes to do my eyeliner exactly as a match so sometimes it takes me a long time especially with my left eye which is more hooded so I have issues and it takes me a little bit longer I'm going to go over top that with the Santee liquid eyeliner in black and this was just a dollar from shop miss a like basically all this stuff is a dollar there but this makes it like super duper black so it's a lot easier for me to go over it with a pencil or a marker and then use the liquid eyeliner Now for my under eye highlight, I'm using my 
Real Techniques Concealer Brush along with the Elf Cream Foundation Stick in the color Nude, which is really inexpensive. It's $6 on the Elf website. And I really, really do like this concealer a lot. Now I'm just going to go ahead and make kind of like a V, do my cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and I'm going to take that Real Technique sponge and blend that in. You want to make sure that the sponge is slightly damp or else it really won't work to the best of its ability. However, like I said, this sponge never gets like really hard, so I have used it without it being damp and it still works, but I really would prefer it to be more or less damp. Now using my NYX Pressed Powder by Black Label, which is in Soft Beige, I'm just going to go ahead and set that foundation under eye highlight. And I'm also using the sponge. The sponge is like amazing for everything. And I'm going to go ahead and contour with the NYX Go To Palette in Wonderlust. And I'm just using the contour color in that palette along with one of my Sedona Lace Brushes. And I'm just going to blend that upward and also towards my forehead, around my face, kind of like a heart shape if you would call it, kind of like. But I love blending or doing contour with powder because it makes the job super duper easy. Doing the cream, found, um, cream colors or cream contour is cool too, but it's more intense. And if I want to do it really quick, I'll just use the powder and it's easier to clean up. There's just a lot of less work, a lot of less blending. <laughs> And I'm also going to take another Sedona Lace Brush, which you can use. It's basically a fluffy brush. I use it for my eyes, and I can also use it for contouring. And I'm going to use that same contour color down the bridge of my nose as well. Well, not the bridge, but the sides of my nose. Back into the In Bloom palette by Tarte, I'm going to be using the color Rebel underneath my waterline. Along with that, I'm also going to be using the color called Leader. These are really pretty, like, rich brown colors. I really do like them. And, of course, my contour probably looks really, really dramatic and intense right now, but I'm going to tone it down. And to brighten my lids, on my eyes, I'm going to use the NYX um, eyeliner pencil in the color white. This just makes your eyes appear bigger and more awake and refreshed. So I do like to use the white pencil, and it also helps your eyeshadow if you want to put more on. Now some really inexpensive mega mascara is by LA Girl. This is the super mega mascara. And I'm just going to use this on the top and the bottom. I'm not going to use as much on my top lid because for one, I have on individuals and I really don't like to cake on a lot of mascara because I wear them for a few weeks. Now back into the Bloom palette, just for my inner tear duct, I'm going to be using the color Funny Girl, which is more or less like a shimmered champagne look. And I'm just going to brush off that excess powder that I use, which is by NYX, and tone down some of my contour and use this bronzer, which is my favorite by Revolution London Makeup. This bronzer is amazing. Isn't it like really beautiful? It's only 10 bucks at Ulta and it just... The color is like so pretty and just, I love it. I love this bronzer to death. Now one of my new pressed powders is by Too Faced. This is their Cocoa Powder Foundation. And this is the color Medium Tan. And like I said, I was going to tone down my contour, which it did. And yeah, I forgot to contour my jawline. So that's what I'm doing right now with that same NYX palette. And you just want to take that on your jawline and brush it and kind of like shade it in. So that way it looks like a shadow. Onto my long wear, a pro long wear blush, which is by MAC, which is Film Noir. I absolutely love this blush. It's a really great color for those who are darker complexion than I am. Beautiful color. And like I said, here is Honey Mine Healthy Glow Face and Cheeks Palette. This glow veal is like, oh, I love it. Do you see the highlight that it's giving me? It's absolutely giving me life. And to top it off, I'm going to be using my MAC Trace Gold Blush. This has been my favorite for like five years. I have bought this like three times. And I love this blush. Like it's just the most universal blush ever. Now onto my lips, I did use some chapstick. And I'm using Prestige Lip Pencil in the color Spiced. Which is a very subtle brown. Very pretty brown. And I'm just going to go ahead and use that. This is a drugstore brand. 
And on top of that, I'm using NK Lip Pencil in the color Mink. I want to give my lips kind of like that mauve look, but like a little darker and kind of like deep and matte. Now on to finishing my makeup, I'm using Scandinavia's The Makeup Finishing Spray, which you still will need to go ahead and spray it in that pattern, a T and an X, and allow it to dry. And as you see here, my hair was already done because I did this bun last night, and this is the finished look. So I hope you girls enjoyed the video. If you're interested in a tutorial on this look, just let me know, and I'll publish that video. Stay Diva and Divalicious. Bye!